I get to the job, I go up in the attic. Sure enough, I don't see any iguana sign. None at all, no skin, no tail slides, no claw marks, no iguana poop, nothing like that. I did find evidence of rats. So I found rat poop. I found where they were entering up the AC line where they chewed some of the insulation to come up in the attic. So because of that, I treated the job as a rat job. I knew they had a rat problem to begin with. Let's handle that and see if that fixes the problem. So I exclude the rats. I repair um, the hole where they're coming in through the AC. I block that off on both sides of the house. So first things first, uh, we're gonna fix the main access point where I see the rats coming in at, which is the AC line going up into the attic. There, um, that's where all the rat poop is, is right around there. And I can see where they chewed their way through the insulation to pop up inside. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this fixed. Also repaired a hole through the roof the tiles on the roof entering into the attic got this whole corner patched here this patched that patched and that patch and uh, I'm gonna check the rest of the roof but I, I think that's it from there I proceeded to trap all the rats some of this easy paste gel whatever it is so I'm gonna mess with cheese or peanut butter up here supposedly this stuff works even better I'm gonna leave everything the way it is and, and probably come back next week and take another look to see if there's any more evidence any more damage noise or anything like that and uh, kind of go from there so so before we get started with the geese um, we're gonna run run by our rat job that um, we just set up for uh, on Friday and uh, go check our rat traps, everything like that, clear any rats that are in the trap and rebait them. And uh, I'll keep doing that until I'm not getting any more rats. Otto's gonna have to be patient while I do that. And then uh, we can get started on the geese. All right, just getting up here. Uh, I can already see the trap I had by the opening. Hasn't been touched, hasn't been sprung, which I was hoping hoping to get something there. But uh, I think as we work our way back to where all the sign is, all the poop, those traps should should be sprung. Um, we're gonna work our way there now. All right, let's see if we can get through that. Attic to get around. <clears throat> See a dead rat over there, but I'm not sure what it is yet. After speaking with them, it kind of sounds like a but we'll See here in a minute. I'm gonna go further in. <clears throat> not sure what's going on um, all of the traps are untouched all the baits still on them unsprung except for this one down here this one's got all the bait licked off of it no trace of it it's been sprung uh, triggered but no animal in it so I don't really know what's going on we're gonna um, rebait the traps with this peanut butter I brought uh, I brought it just in case that uh that attractant gel didn't work. I don't know if it's the gel's the problem or maybe there's just one rat up here. I don't know what, but we're fixing to, to get to the bottom of it. So one night they heard really loud noises and I was, you know, feeling like I gotta figure this out. As I go back up in that attic, 
and I start searching around using my Pulsar thermal monocular for rats or whatever's up there, I spot this damn iguana, and it's a big one. I'm gonna shut off my lights and I try to sneak up and grab them. Slot full of eggs, too. She's coming up here to nest. She was gonna lay eggs in this person's attic. Not today. Luckily, I cornered it and was able to grab it. Got a few roofing nails in my back, but that's all part of the job, I guess. Clawed the hell out of me, and uh, it knew it was beat, and, and just kind of gave up after that. Didn't bring my electrical tape, because I thought I was up here for rats. <laughs> From there, Holy I worked my cow. way out of the attic, showed the homeowner. They were absolutely thrilled that I figured out what was going on. I got rid of the rats. I repaired the, the holes where everything was coming in, and I got the damn iguana before it laid its nest, which was the main thing for me. I didn't want to have to deal with babies. I didn't want to have to deal with finding this nest and all the insulation in this big attic. So it all in all, it worked out great. I'm glad to finish this job off, man. I don't ever take rat jobs. I'm not real experienced with them. And I just felt like I was failing these people. Sure enough, it was an iguana. And uh, got it removed. They're real happy. Uh, they live here full time. And, and they're tired of hearing stuff in their attic. And uh, good to know that I got her before she laid a nest. So I don't got to deal with that. So we're going to go ahead and get her taped up get her in a cage and uh, go on to the next job. You're all right, buddy. You're under arrest. I'm gonna take you in, trespassing, home invasion. You're going away for a long time. <laughs>